everything. The smiling man you see behind the coffee bar at Ozo Lounge was once homeless. Ethan Wankanga moved from Nigeria to the U.S. when he was just 17 years old. Everybody knows about America where you, it's a land of, you know, dreams where you can be whatever you want. Once here, he took the first job that came his way. Obviously, as an immigrant, to start off with very menial jobs, you know, I was, my first job was a janitor. He moved into construction and continued to try to find new opportunities that proved difficult. After a failed marriage, Ethan wound up without a place to live, spending his nights riding the subway. I would jump on the A train, uh, take the A all the way to 207. Yeah, if you do that in the night, it's about an hour and a half. And from 207 to Far Rock away, yeah, by the time you do it three times, six hours of the night is gone. It's actually one of the lowest places you can be in life because it breaks you. You actually feel abandoned and you have to find that courage to you know, find something else. He knew he had always been tech savvy, so he posted ads on Craigslist to fix people's phones on the spot. Some phones I couldn't fix on the spot, and I've had uh, a few clients who actually gave me the phone, take it with you, come back. When I came back, I think one of them, the husband had told the wife that, man, I was thinking that this guy is not coming back with this phone. <laughs> Ethan's great service led to more word of mouth business. He finally found his niche. He was able to save enough to get an apartment and then with a little help from an uncle, own repair store Ozo Geeks, but he didn't stop there. Can I have coffee? Where can I have a drink? We figured, well, we can get a place, put it together, do the IT service and have people chill out, have drinks while we fix their devices. So just six months ago, Ethan expanded and opened Ozo Lounge right next door to his repair shop. Not only has he changed the trajectory of his life, he's giving back to the community. It's something good. There's not a lot of coffee shop that you see here, so we have seen a lot of people walking in and they appreciate what we're doing. And then we're like, yeah, so thank you, you know. So it's something good for the community. Ethan says he thanks every person who took a chance with him and helping him get where he is today. Appreciate being, uh, being in the U.S., appreciate people you meet every day. Um, those things really humble you.